All right, here's our serve. And I've been really bad about this. I split, but I'm so intent on getting in, I'm not reading the lob. So I'm too far in. So I barely get to this overhead. I don't know what's going on with that. I gotta work on that in part of my game. So since I'm kind of Norland, like I'm too far back to get back after this shot, I just stay back. I can hang back there. It's no big deal. He does the right thing. It's a deep ball. I hit to him deep and high. He's not even. Oh, he's on baseline, so he hits the ball back to me. Instead, hitting it to Pete, and so I just hit a deep, deep roller back to him. However. John in the front does a really good job cutting this ball off to his backhand. Hits it back to me. It's kind of a good decision. You can't really put it away. I think he's trying to hit it to Peter, but it would have been hard to put it away. Trying to hit the gap between us. And Fabe does a great switch. See Fabe in the back and the blue he's switching. I think I hit a winner right here when I go slice pass. Jom. And I come in. But Fabe does a great job covering. And not only that. He actually hits a pretty good shot because, once again, I am coming in and I don't read this. Once I'm up there, it's an easy shot to hit the middle court where the court's open. But look at that coverage. John is totally off the court. You don't even see him. They ran corner and now he's back in covering short angle. That's called great anticipation and great desire. Hits a deep lob and look how far back Pete is when he hits this. Even though he misses, that's the right shot. Look how far back he is. That was a perfect lob. And that's what you want to do. You want to keep the pressure up by hitting the shot. 